So drink water. <laughs> so what do you make of all this? Because at the end of the day, let's come to the substantive. We on the civil side are looking at uh, at consensus. Because yeah. Parliament needs to go. We, we have some business to deal with. Yeah. Thank you, Roland. Um, good morning to the ordinary Ghanaians. And then um, I was standing for them today. Good morning to the Fafranto. And I was so excited to see New Day Yellow with a monarch butterfly. Hallelujah. Ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, this has always been done before your party. Well, yeah. it, of course, but then so it, it excites me that when you know, this the spirit of. <laughs> When this monster <laughs> was in this, in the <laughs> yes, but I'm, I'm making this monster was point. created before um, the movement for was, it, was incorporated. Essentially, so the the fact of the matter is that the spirit of the movement, which wants to bring about a new day, as symbolized by the monarch butterfly, it's in this studio now. It's in the making of this program. Roland, why do we have a situation where? lawyers are taking this uh, development and this country hostage. I, as a development worker, I'm at a loss that within a month to a major election that is going to determine the fate, that is going to be determining whether we are going to endorse the status quo that has led to our impoverishment in the last 32 years, or we are going to choose a man like Alan Tremate who has presented a solid blueprint to lead us out of the mess we find ourselves. We are not probing these issues a month into election. And here we are with the usual, you know, mischief of lawyers. We are saddled with um, a situation where people know what the Constitution says. They, it has worked for them from the videos you played in the Michael K case. And yet, they are insisting no. Even though it worked for us, we are trying to change it because this time around, it, it, it renders us disadvantaged. That's a problem. That, that level of um, mischief cannot be tolerated, especially at a time where we are at a crossroads. We are supposed to win our country off the tentacles of this constant revisiting of IMF um, um, regulations and all that. And it calls for probing into the options we have, probing into the, the kind of plans, the policies they are proposing to choose which one works for us. It is time for us to assess the competence, the vision, the, the integrity of these guys who present themselves as leaders for us. And here we are, you know, caught in this um, paralysis of legal tassels. It, it doesn't help us as a people seeking to develop out of the current um, economic hardship we find ourselves. How do we find the consensus? And I'm really concerned. The consensus is really simple. Like I said, it has, we are here because there's this toxic adversarial system where MPP wins and it's only MPP. NDC wins and it's only MPP controlling the affairs of the state. And so there's this strive for, you know, dominance. There's a strive for majority position in parliament so they can control all the affairs and business of the day. And that's why we are here. That's why we are having people trying to, you know, redefine the constitution even when there's a straightforward um, definition and interpretation. The, f the fact of the matter is, until we do away with this NPP and DC duopoly that has created this toxic divide, we are not going anywhere as a country. And that is what is enshrined in Alan's policies and his message to Ghanaians, that we need to come together, create a united people behind a single vision, a single development plan to move this country forward. It has happened in China. For long, they were a communist state, you know, strictly communist. But now, what is happening? They've been able to move their country into a communist socialist state. And it's the second largest economy in the world. Because there were compromises. People were able to see that this is the right path. And then they rallied behind it. How do we find the compromise? The compromise starts with leadership. We need to set aside this MPP and DC Diopoli. Bring Alan Chermatin, who has come out of the Diopoli and has said, look, Ghanaians, we've been doing things the wrong way for the past 32 years. I don't now, understand. You mean Alan agreed to 
what you are criticizing, he was but all in. of a sudden became he, a believer. When did he become it's a believer? It's not all of a sudden. You know, all he's been doing with his life outside of Ghana, within politics and all that, suggests to the fact that the man is on a transformational agenda. In fact, his, his thesis as at 1973 was on Ghana's transformation. And I believe he is the next Kwame Koma we are yet to have, actually. Look at what he's done in government. He does things that go beyond parties. He does things, even as minister, his policies like bringing home this, the giant automobile industries, his policies like working to bring home the intercontinental free trade area. These are all encompassing policies and programs that seek to move our country beyond partisan considerations. It is very essential we, we, we set aside this MPP NDC regime, bring Alan Chematin and his vision to unite us. That's the only way we can build consensus. If we continue to choose a, a, a regime, a leadership regime, where people, people's uh, affiliation to a party becomes their competence criteria, then we have a problem. It should be by merit. It should be if you are choosing lawyer Farquhar to head a, a position in government, it should be because lawyer Farquhar is tried and tested. He has the proven track record to deliver. It's not because he is MPP or NDC, and so we should give him you know, the all-important position to take decisions that affect all of us Ghanaians. Then we have a problem, and that's why we are here. Let's build consensus by bringing an independent candidate, Alan Chematin, to work with all these, you know, fielding parties, unite us behind a national development plan. I was happy lawyer Maliba said, look, we all agree that we have to move our country forward. If that becomes the, the fulcrum around which we all revolve, it's so simple to choose a leader who, who has actually made that his number one vision to unite the country around the National Development Plan. Otherwise, we are not going nowhere, honestly. Thank you. Um,